Yes, and that's the story on Sony brings us to the end of the news of news making headlines tonight. But don't worry because you have a d great discussion. We're going to discuss on matters money management and how you can manage manage your finances in 2020. Yes, the um, reports indicate that this year is going to be a tough year, but with better and good proper planning, financial planning. It will be a fair year. You never know. Yes, and in studio with me to help us discuss this, we have Andrew Shonko, who is a business coach. Yes, Andrew, Karibu Sana. Mm -hmm. And we have Robert Geshe, credit advisor. Karibu Sana. Thanks. Yes, now I will start with you, Robert, because you're from Asako, right? Yeah. Yes, now I'll start with you because I, I, we need to know, because most of our viewers are students and guys out of campus, maybe they are looking for employ, employment and they need to, and those, that, those others who need to start a, a business. Now, what are, what are these good opportunities that circles have that can actually attract youths and students? Because you know, when, 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 when you tell youths matters saving, the first thing that comes to their mind is just a bank, but you, there are circles as well. So what are these good opportunities in circles that can actually attract the youths? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. thank you very much for mm. having us as your guest. But first, I would say the wise man says, you do not save. Savings are not what you what remains after spending. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, you should saving. You should spend what remains after saving. And there are uh, very many opportunities when you save with uh, circles or mm -hmm. other medium-term enterprises, mm -hmm. other than banking institutions. Mm -hmm. Of course, because of economies of scale. Mm -hmm. When you come to circles, uh, the scale is smaller, so meaning you are likely to experience uh, tailored services. They are likely to, you are likely to be attached to a personal banker who will guide you through your saving, probably improve on your saving habits. Mm -hmm. One thing, something else I would also like to add is that uh, uh, it's, saving is not a matter of, especially for students, when you get a coin, maybe it's help, maybe it's uh, something you are given by your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, do not look at only saving that. Uh, think of how you can invest that there are, especially if you're in campus, there are small businesses you can do. When you look at, when you see a problem, do not look, do not be afraid of a problem. In fact, uh, wise people rejoice in a problem because they look at ways of solving those problems. In the process of solving those problems, they generate income, mm. and that is what you're supposed to save. Okay, you know, you know, uh, Andrew. Robert is talking about saving, but there's someone somewhere in campus hostel seated watching you and saying, saving, what do you save? What actually are you saving? So how can these people generate income to, to, to save actually? I think one of the most important things that uh, youth will actually be able to understand is about saving is not about the amount of income that you have uh, maybe as an individual. Mm. You can, ha let's say, for example, uh, 100 shillings. And then you can say maybe out of these 100 shillings, I can save at least, let's say, for example, 20%. And as my colleague just uh, said ab about investing, mm -hmm. there are very, very many avenues uh, that actually a youth can be able to invest mm -hmm. uh, into, the ma into the money that they have. For example, f one of the things that uh, is uh, burdening youth right now is debt. And one of the things that maybe we actually want to look into this year is to actually live a, f a debt free, l uh, free life when it comes to this year. Because in the first place, you cannot start saving when you are in debt already. So, one of the things that uh, maybe people need to first do is to clear their debt and be debt free. And then now from there, the little income that they have, the little pocket money that they are given, they can be able to invest them to meaningful businesses. Look at uh, campus, for example. Uh, if you go to to Gikomba market, you can be able to pick shoes, you can be able to pick clothes that are or, or uh, that are of lower prices, and then from there you can actually be able to sell them and be able to get income. That at the end of the day you can start saving. So saving is a discipline, and if you instill this discipline in uh, into yourself, mm -hmm. at the end of the day you'll find uh, you've been able to save little by little. And then as the year goes by, you'll find that you have been able to save a lot of money from the little that you had. 
Yes. Uh, Robert, let me ask you, where do we invest? Where, where can a youth invest? You've talked about saving and investing in Tumba. Where else can a youth invest? I think I would say there are millions of opportunities in investments, mm. uh, starting from the, you remember the government introduced the, you can now open a CDS account and save for as little as 3,000 shillings. Yes. I remember when you invest in government both, that's a risk-free investment. It's a passive investment. You don't need to do anything else other than depositing that money with the CBK. Then, like I said, when you see problems, you see opportunities. In campus, uh, I remember when we were in campus, there used to be, uh, there was the introduction of computers. Mm. That, that's a, that was an opportunity. In, and I can also call it a problem because many people didn't know how to simple repairs of computers. So if you, currently in campus, there must be that thing that you perceive as a problem to other people. Look at it, you can invest in it, invest your mind. It's not always that you invest your money, you can also invest your mind and generate income out of it. Mm. Yeah. And when, uh, let, me, let, me, let me ask this, uh, should someone save first then invest or should they invest first then save or they can just do all, all of them together at the same time, Robert? I think I would classify that based on age. Okay. And now that we are speaking to the youth, I would advise the youth to save fast. Okay. You see, not, not to save, to invest, fast. to invest fast. Mm. Because right now you, can, you have the time to make all the mistakes you, that you can do in investment. You can, in, you can invest and, uh, in a project and if it fails, there will be no harm. You can always start again. Yeah. But there will come an age when you cannot afford to fail. So I would advise you to invest first, then you save what comes out of your investment. Mm. Mm. But, and there's another trend of betting. <laughs> 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 I know Andrew is aware of this. <laughs> there's another trend of betting. You get your money and you bet. You get all your money, you bet all your money. You invest in it, the income you bet, and you make they losses. It, they also call it investment. Yeah. <laughs> But then again, when it comes to investing, you need to look uh, at the issue of risk. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you cannot uh, have a risk that is so high. Although the, maybe the, the income that maybe you'll get from it will be so high. Mm. But this is something, as I mentioned earlier, it's all about discipline. Because, for example, if whatever I'm saving, it's what I'm investing in a business, let's say uh, in a venture, not a business. Because you can't say that betting is a business. In a venture, let's say, for example, in betting. Because for me, I think I will classify betting as a social, social, um, social activity, one of the activities that maybe you do. Uh, for fun, mm -hmm. but if you bring it into the saving and investing issue, then it, it removes the aspect of, uh, of uh, saving into it. And it's one of the things that maybe you'll find a big uh, and a huge, a huge number of youths are actually uh, uh, engaging into it. And what I will say, uh, they need to have a measure. And, uh, and a control of, of the activity of betting that they are involving themselves into. Because at the end of the day, if you invest all your savings into it, mm. uh, you might not be able to achieve whatever you want to, to, uh, to do at the end of the day. No, also, yeah. there's a culture of student not saving. What makes them not to save? Uh, because I remember even, even personally, I'm a victim, you know? <laughs> in campus, you start saving from Monday in Africa Friday. You take the money and go out with it. Uh, uh, maybe it's something that actually needs to be instilled uh, into, into people right from, uh, uh, from home, for example. Because if, uh, let's say, uh, in, the, in the household where maybe the, the family is, there is not that, that discipline of saving, then the tendency of someone using their savings will be so high. Another thing is where do you save your money? Mm -hmm. Because let's say, for example, transaction has now become so mobile mm -hmm. uh, in such a way that maybe you save your money in, uh, in, an, uh, in M Pesa, for example. And uh, the tendency of using that money is just a click of a, of a button. <laughs> so where do you save your money, for example? Uh, my colleague will, will <laughs> actually, <laughs> will actually <laughs> add on that, uh, on that because mm -hmm. there are other avenues in which whereby you can actually invest your money. And even if uh, an agency arises, mm. you cannot actually be able to, to use access, that money yeah. when, when the need arises. 
Yes. <laughs> and on that, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back uh, with more on financial management. So let us keep the conversation going on. Yes, the hashtag to use is Y254 News Update. And my name is Miriam Masaba, and we're talking today about financial management and where to invest, when to save, and how to begin your planning towards saving. <laughs> and to help me discuss this is Andrew Shonko, who is a business coach, and Robert, Robert uh, Gashie, credit advisor. Yes, and we were, before, we, before we went on a break, Andrew was telling us when to save, where to save. So I just want Robert to clarify this. Which are the proper channels where you can save? Because there's mobile money where you can easily access the money once you start saving. When an emergency comes up, it can be on PO, you, 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 whatever. You, you, what is the word I'm missing? <laughs> withdraw the money, yeah? But there are other places where you cannot even access the money once you begin saving. So which are the better and proper channels for youths to save? Um, I think it's good first of all to mention what is savings. Yeah. Because uh, I think sometimes you may, me, you may, mis, may, you may misinterpret. Mm -hmm. Save custody of your cash and saving. For example, if you have some money on M-Pesa, those are not savings. It's just like money in your pocket waiting to be spent. <laughs> And I would also like to mention that based on uh, how humans are created, it is possible for your brain to convert each and every shillings you have in your pocket into expenditure mm -hmm. unconsciously. So like my colleague said, it's a habit you have to form. You have to control your mind to save. And you have to know the proper channels to save. Mm -hmm. Now, like you, uh, your, your question, you cannot save money in M-Pesa. And you cannot save money uh, in an account that you can easily access when you need to spend. I would advise people to save money. And you know, s uh, some expenditures are foregone. And you come to realize later they were not even necessary expenditures. Mm -hmm. So you can save money uh, probably somewhere. It will take you some struggle to get that money. And nowadays, there are mobile apps that you can be able to save, and you create probably a fixed saving habit. Like you can say, uh, you will deposit this money for six months, for one year. You can only access after that period. Yeah. And any attempt to access your money area attracts a penalty, which definitely, thinking about it, you would rather forego that expenditure than incurring that penalty. Mm -hmm. So. Saving is not, you should differentiate saving with a safe custody of your cash. So, <laughs> so it's a These are big difference. <laughs> yeah. You know, when, uh, someone usually imagines if I just put money there, that's saving. <laughs> <laughs> but you can actually access it at any point, and that's saving. Actually, that's not saving. Yeah, it's not saving. <laughs> yes, and you know, when it comes to, to our generation, Andrew, we were not told more about finances. We were to pay Pesa hiko, pesa uyechuni kwa matawi, so tumia the komti, so tumia pesa vizuri. You know the way the, our parents raised, up, raised us up. Hmm? And, and you wonder, should we be financial uh, literacy, should it, be, uh, should it be included as early as primary school? I think we mm -hmm. have to accept the fact that uh, things are actually changing very, very fast. Mm -hmm. And maybe th when it comes to the introduction of uh, money, because uh, you will find like th the time that you'll say like, this is my money, you are actually maybe after you finish your high school, mm -hmm. that is when you're being told, th uh, or maybe let's say for example, when you join, you join form one, that's when you are told like, these few, uh, few hundreds are your money, they are, they are your, uh, your pocket money. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we need to actually look at the bigger picture when it comes to the issue of saving. We actually need to note uh, to note that uh, saving is uh, should be like a lifestyle. It should be something that you practice each and every day. It should be something that maybe it is not something that you're forced by circumstances to do. 
because you will find there are urgent situation that normally comes up. Let's say, for example, someone may fall ill, so, so, uh, economy uh, is changing day in, day out. Uh, let's say you want to save some money for your, uh, for your kid to be able to, jo mm -hmm. uh, to join high school uh, and uh, to join school and so on. So when it comes to the issue of saving, it should be something that is, is introduced as early as possible and even maybe be able to be, uh, to be taught in maybe in our uh, in institutions of learning, how can people be actually be able to save? Because as I began by saying, it's not about the income that you have. You will get someone maybe who earns maybe a hundred uh, thousand shillings, mm -hmm. uh, spend all that money for, uh, and uh, uh, and at the end of the day, you'll find someone maybe who is earning like 20,000. They are uh, able to have that discipline and be able to save that cash. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before I come to you, I, 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 Nini, Robert, remember Facebook page is Y254 news y254 channel so i want to sample some of the comments here because hey, this will lead us to one of the questions i will ask <laughs> robert so there's one called shadrach juma is saying after christmas and happy new year nikurudi shula Dandora, mtimoja phase four wembuli stadium and go guys what i can i can be sure of is that guys spent their money during christmas during festive season so here is a crisis. I think it's actually a crisis because children need to go back to school, you need to pay rent, there are other needs, there are other requirements, and you spent all your salary during the festivity. <laughs> Can you address this kind of person? Because the first thing that will come to their mind is to go and borrow in a circle, or go in a borrow in a bank or these mobile apps. When is the best time to borrow? And why should one borrow? Well, um uh, of course, uh, because they are nowadays, it's very easy to borrow from mobile apps. I think uh, all institutions are in the business of marketing their loans, mm -hmm. so loans are all over. Mm -hmm. But I would advise you not to get in, sunk into debt. It's good to plan. It's always good to plan before you borrow. First of all, know the amount of money you need. Mm -hmm. Probably there is more money available than what you need. But it's good to have a discipline of the amount of money you need and borrow what you know you can put into good use. Mm -hmm. um, I, so I heard you mention about overspending mm -hmm. <laughs> during festive season. Mm -hmm. Of course, it, I would attribute that to maybe peer. Mm -hmm. uh, people, are, people are blessed differently. It's good to accept that. <laughs> so it's not good to spend because others are spending. Probably others are spending out of a whole year of saving and planning to spend in December. Mm -hmm. But probably you are spending the whole of your salary, that, that the salary that you are paying in December. Probably you never mm -hmm. saved anything in the other month. So mm -hmm. uh, I would advise it's good to spend during Christmas, but it's also good to know that in January, you know December is coming and Christmas is coming. So start saving as early as now, start planning for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how important is planning Andrew? I think I'll just speak from what he has said, mm -hmm. but uh, if let's say for example, you want to go for a holiday in December, mm -hmm. you, you actually, in the beginning of the year, you actually know that December will come. And this December, I'll have to plan for it. So planning is one of the key things when it comes to, even in our social life, for example, we need to forego uh, some things and maybe and prioritize whatever that we want to do. And when you are doing planning, this will allow you to prioritize. Let's say, for example, uh, you want to invest into a business at the end of the year. So you need to plan for that business, know the, uh, the capital that you will need for you to for that uh, business to be able to to pick, uh, know what you will, need, or you will need and so on in terms of capital, in terms of labor and so on, and plan for it. And that's, uh, that's why uh, we said, set aside the amount of money that you want to save and that will be able will assist you when it comes to planning and knowing at the end of this uh, period of time i want to have achieved this and if you did not maybe uh, achieved that you need to uh, to question your planning why i was not able to achieve whatever i i, I had uh, uh, set uh, set aside in my planning so planning is a very important thing because let's say for example you know tomorrow you know where you, you what you will be doing that means you had planned for it but when it comes to money, why do you overlook the planning aspect when it comes to saving? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yes, Robert, final comments. Final comments as we wind up. And also you could tell us where you're from and what you do. 
Um, well, I'm from Cubs Credit Limited. Yes. I'm a finance manager there. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe as a parting shot, I would say charity begins at home. Uh, the easier, if you teach your kids that you can get money so easily, they will spend so easily. Mm -hmm. Let your kids as they grow know that you earn that money. Maybe you can even, maybe you want to give your kid some money to buy sweets. Mm -hmm send that kid or maybe give her some si simple jobs. Mm. Once uh, he or she completes, let her know that this money is earned. And you will find the saving culture instilled in that kid mm. right from the toddler age. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And some comments? Uh, I'll, I'll uh, finish by saying that uh, we need to have a turnaround mm. because Kenya as a country, has a, we have a very poor saving habit. Mm. And uh, you need to uh, s uh, to save first and then spend, not the other way around. Don't first spend and then save, because at the end of the day you'll find uh, the saving normally is normally given a very small share when it comes to finances and so on. Yeah. So save first and then spend. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was Andrew Shonko, business coach on my far left. Then we have Robert Gashia, credit advisor. Yes, if I could just read some of your comments on Facebook. Thank you so much for interacting with us. There is Maurice Makoa who says, hashtag Y254 news update. There is Kakamega and Danny. I like the, what you, you are discussing about. Yes, thank you so much, Maurice. We also have Shadrach Juma who is say, saying that Nora first four will be listed. Wembley Stadium, Nikondani, Indani, yes, sure. Thank you so much. And Prezo Azim and Sima locked in Naivasha. Well, guys, thank you so much for interacting with us on Facebook. And thank you so much for staying tuned here on Y254. <laughs> Y254 News Business News. Yes, I hope you learned something or you picked up something. And what I can tell you is say, just live within your means. Yes, and financial planning is very important, especially since you're in January. You can plan and save and how you'll spend your December, <laughs> you know, spending your December and wondering, and wondering where you'll get money to, to, to finance you, your things in January. Yes, yes, that, that was our time. My name is Miriam Masaba. Find me on social media at Miriam underscore Masaba. Until next Tuesday, that's a wrap for us. Goodbye and good night and God bless you.